This is going to be a quick video on the Mustang. Um, since on this engine, I built the engine with an electric water pump. It doesn't have the uh, inlets and outlets for the heater core. And I want to have some heat in the car when I drive it in the winter. So I had to build a custom cooling system. I have the coolant coming out of the intake neck into the heater core, coming back out. And it's coming into this return to the radiator. However, I believe that the uh, pressure from the radiator is pushing the coolant back against the coolant trying to come back out of the heater core. And so the coolant in the heater core is just staying stagnant. Because when I ran the engine, the heater wasn't heating up. So to resolve the problem, I bought this inline check valve. And so we're going to put this right here so that way we can uh, prevent the backflow of the coolant stagnating the uh, coolant in the, in the uh, heater core. So first thing we need to do is uh, go ahead and take off this heater hose. Hopefully there isn't any coolant in this line. Okay, got our hose clamp off, and now we got to get this hose undone. Let's say that there isn't any coolant in here. Oh, good, thank you. All right, so I've measured on the check valve that the nipple is about uh, almost 19 millimeters. And I want to try and line these up as close as possible. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this heater hose. I want these pretty much in line like this. So let me get a uh, measurement here. On the length of our neck of this. On. So we got about 16 millimeters and 19 millimeters that we got to measure on our hose. So that's going to be about 25 millimeters. Well, that's about as close as I can get it. and 19. No, that's actually going to be, sorry, 35 millimeters. I knew that seemed a little short. All right, there we go. Got it set perfectly to 35 millimeters. There we go, got a mark on there. Grab something to cut this hose with. Don't have anything really to cut a hose with, but uh, I believe last time I was able to, or maybe better.
This guy right here. Line it up with a mark. Make sure this is straight. And there we go. I cut right through it. <laughs> okay. Now we can feed this onto here. And this onto here. I gotta switch this. Rotate this around a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's clamp down real good and then. Use this one. He's not going anywhere. This one will feed under there. And uh, give me a minute. Let me find another hose clamp. All right. Got another hose clamp. Let's go ahead and get this guy tightened up. Here we go, nice and tight. And uh, that way we can keep our flow going back to the radiator. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, next video, I'll be doing some more uh, electrical wiring. I've got to wire in the uh, uh, extension for the computer that runs the electric water pump and these electric fans while i'm doing that i'm also going to wire in
this MSD TAC adapter. Since I have an MSD ignition, the uh, tachometer doesn't work. So I have to use this in order to get it to work. And uh, while we're under there, uh, I'm going to wire in. Also, I found out the car has some the, uh, electric door lock actuators. So I found online a little remote kit to actuate those. So that way I can open my doors with a remote. So that'll be in the next video down the road. We'll see you then.